What if a simple change in how we write numbers could transform the entire way we do business and our modern economy as we experience it today? That's precisely what happened when Arabic numerals swept across medieval Europe, replacing the slow, clunky Roman numeral system. For centuries, merchants, bankers and accountants struggled with symbols like S14 or DCCCXL Sefton. Imagine trying to calculate profits, split a bill, or even calculate TIP OMG using those. It was slow, error-prone, and made large-scale commerce nearly impossible. Then came the game-changer, Arabic numerals. They introduced two revolutionary ideas, a place-value system and the concept of zero. Suddenly, people could add, subtract, multiply, and divide with incredible speed and accuracy. Business transactions became smoother, records more reliable, and math more accessible to everyday merchants, not just scholars or priests. This wasn't just about convenience. It was a massive leap forward for trust and trade. With better tools for accounting, innovations like double-entry bookkeeping emerged, allowing merchants to track credits, debts, and profits with never-before-seen clarity. These small digits helped fuel the rise of powerful trading cities, international markets, and the foundation of modern finance. The switch from Roman to Arabic numerals wasn't just a shift in symbols. It was a shift in how people thought, how they traded, and how fast they could grow. Here's the question. If you ran a business back then, would you trust your fortune to Roman numerals, or embrace the new system that changed the world?